Hi everyone and welcome back to Libby's Junk Journals. Uh, I thought I'd better do a video on um, this gothic journal before she comes to pick it up. Um, I completed this a couple of weeks ago and um, yeah she's going to come and pick it up so here we go it's my um, normal size journal eight and three quarter by five and three quarter has a two and three quarter inch spine has five signatures inside and um, when people come to pick their journals up I usually stick them in a bag and um, that's what I've been putting the journals and the gothic ones the other journals um, I make a bag for them so it has um, a hollow binding we have uh, a detachable um, charm on here as well I'll just take that off move this over here so it's black lace and black seam binding and um, it has uh, a charm on it as well some butterfly lace and it's attached also with the Tim Holtz clip so we'll put that over there so it has a curved spine and um, I did some of the crackle paint effect on the spine and I wish I'd done it on the front and the back as well <laughs> it turned out quite good so on here is um, a brooch it won't detach itself because I've put it right through to the other side and uh, we have um, charms at the start of each signature as well and we have the Tim Holtz ornate book corners on there so there we go we have um, <clears throat> I've done a material pocket here for the tag some lace has some stamping and I've put um, rose lace down the front of each signature has tea dyed paper and um, I've left the threads on there quite long <laughs> She can either leave them on or trim them up or whatever. So I have some stamping, put some lace and glitz on the tags. I've done some stamping on the papers, inked up the doilies, stamped the pockets for um, tags. So there's plenty of writing space, plenty of tags and journal cards. I've also stamped and inked up some book pages, there's graph paper, vellum, more tea dyed and I've put some lace down that one as well. We have some um, the uh, coffin journal cards so I'll just quickly go through I've inked up an envelope and collaged on it. There's the wee key charm. There's paper in the envelopes for writing on. I have a uh, bag and tag in there with some paper. These are flip up journal spaces with some little coffin tags in there it's a tea dyed doily we have a flip up with netting with some red lace a tuck spot in there with the music paper this is a digital download of Artie Mays so I have some paper and um, Oops, tag in there, rather journal card, and like some ribbon for a bookmark. This is a fold out, it's journal space on the music paper, tuck space. 
We have another collaged envelope. This one has a skull charm on it. And um, another doily. Some stenciling. And the sun is starting to disappear. <laughs> I'll have to invest in a light for videoing instead of relying on the sun during winter. Not a good thing to be doing. So this is a wee folder with um, toe tag and some wee cards and journal cards. That's the wee glitz charm. Have a wee pledge card there, the tag. Another flip, some more journal space. We have another double pocket with some more ribbon. So on some lace and that on there on the card. It's an envelope that I've cut out and put acetate in there. Put some tissue paper inside it and a card. It's got a spider charm. It's another stamp pocket. So it's definitely one for journaling in. Charm. Oops. We have some double pockets there. There's papers behind. I printed onto that one. It's a foot. And you know, there's a tag in there to show that they're also pockets. Flip up, toe tag. Small paper, graph paper I've printed on. And uh, of course my stamp. And there we go. Oops, Daisy. So it's my first gothic journal for the year. <laughs> I um might do a few more as the year goes on, we shall see. And um, I might come up with a different style. So anyway, yeah, I hope everyone's been keeping well and um, keeping themselves occupied. Please subscribe if you like my journals. And uh, until next time, this is Libby saying bye for now.